Hey team, are you guys tired of complex kubectl commands or searching between contexts and tools to manage your EKS cluster? Today, I'm going to walk you through the AWS EKS MCP server. It's an open source bridge that lets you interact with your Kubernetes cluster directly through Klein or Amazon Q or even Kiro, which we just introduced. This MCP server makes EKS management so intuitive and very conversational. So let me walk you through on how this is done. Imagine this, instead of memorizing a kubectl commands, just ask your AI assistant to troubleshoot that deployment issue or scale that service to handle more traffic. The AWS EKS MCP server translates between AI assistants and your cl cluster delivering 70% faster troubleshooting, automated manifest generation, intelligent scaling recommendation, consistent EKS best practices already built in. And we are going to do a demo using Kiro, our new uh, agentic AI IDE platform that will enable seamless connection with the EKS MCP server. And we will do a sample deployment so the first step is I'm going to walk you through on how to configure the AWS EKS MCP server within Kiro. As you can see here, I have uh, loaded Kiro. It's uh, empty and it's ready for some uh, spec-driven uh, build or a wipe coding. Okay, and I am going to navigate to the EKS MCP server GitHub and pull that configuration and ask Kiro to add it. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the back here, I have the URL. I'll put that up uh, there for you guys on the AWS lab uh, URL for the EKS M MCP server. So I'm going to grab this one that says for Mac Linux because I'm on Mac. I'm going to grab this one. And uh, I am going to go to my Kiro window and uh, uh, tell Kiro, hey, Kiro, can you go ahead and uh, deploy this EKS MCP server? And then I'm going to paste the JSON file. And let's see what uh, Kiro does. And as you can see here, uh, Kiro is saying that I will help you uh, to add the EKS MCP server to your profile. And you can see here it's saying EKS MCP server connecting, and uh, it is uh, already connected. So in this demo, I'm going to use Kiro to give me a list of all my pods that are running in my cluster. So we'll get connected to my strands cluster, which is running in US East 1, and we'll get a list of pods. So this will be a very basic uh, querying the cluster uh, type of stuff. Uh, so let's see what uh, Kiro does here. So it's calling the MCP tool and getting the list of uh, uh, the resources. So as you can see that it uh, figured out that I have the strands cluster, and it uh, also lists all the pods uh, that are running on my uh, EKS cluster. There are about uh, 19 pods that are running. In the next step, I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy a workload into the EKS cluster using the EKS MCP uh, server plugin. Okay, so let's go ahead and type uh, a simple uh, prompt saying, hey, deploy your Nginx workload, uh, show the welcome page to uh, welcome to EKS MCP server in AWS colors, make it appealing, and use port forwarding. So let's go ahead and do that. So Kiro is off to work, and it's going to create a custom Nginx uh, deployment with a styled welcome page and cluster IP or port forwarding. So it's creating this uh, Nginx custom welcome.html file right now. And you can see that it uh, just popped that out here at the top. And then uh, it goes on to create the YAML file as well. So that will show up here in a second. And then it'll go ahead and deploy that, and it'll check back here in a second. So now it's deploying this uh, into the cluster, into my strands cluster, and in the default namespace, because I didn't really specify any uh, specific uh, namespace. So it's uh, deploying that in the default namespace. So I'll go ahead and click, click on Run. And it's uh, going to my direct, correct directory. And then it's calling that uh, MCP tool to go ahead and um, do the deployment as well. It's uh, called the apply YAML function. And it's been successful, and it's telling me that, hey, uh, this has been deployed, deployment details, welcome to the custom page. And then uh, here is the port forwarding. So I'll just click on click and run in terminal, and I'll go ahead and do that. Now you can see that the port forwarding is waiting on uh, port 8080 on my local uh, desktop. So, and there we go. Uh, it's a nice, beautiful, 
Uh, welcome to EKS MCP server running on uh, Amazon EKS. The cluster is uh, healthy, Nginx running, MCP is connected, and all of that. So it's a very easy way to showcase how easy and powerful it is to use the EKS MCP server and use your natural language processing to give commands to an IDE like uh, Amazon Kiro. Hopefully you can put this to use and there'll be uh, many more examples to come in the future that I'll show you guys a demo on.